Do you want to change your watch battery? Are you unsure how to go about opening your watch case? Watch this video from Esslinger.com and learn how you can open and close your watch back that is held on with screws. If your watch back has several screws holding the back in place, like this one, this is the method you will use to open your watch back. The things you'll need to open a watch back with screws are a bench mat or a selvet cloth, a watchmaker's screwdriver, a parts tray, a non-magnetic pair of tweezers. Once you have the tools you'll need handy, you'll want to lay the watch out on either the selvet cloth or the bench mat to protect the crystal. Today, we will be using the bench mat to protect the watch. Make sure that the watch case back is easily accessible. You should be able to reach all four screws with your screwdriver. If you can't, you will need to open the watch band or even remove it. For information on how to remove a watch band, check out the links seen here. Once you can access the screws, you will need to determine what kind of screwdriver you need. Generally, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver like this one. Then, test your screwdrivers in the screw until you find the one that fits. Be sure to find a screwdriver that is the right size to avoid stripping the screw head. Now, holding the watch case steady, insert the screwdriver blade into the screw and begin to turn it counterclockwise to loosen the screw. Watchmaker screwdrivers allow you to tighten or loosen tiny screws while holding them in place at the same time. When the screw is almost out, take your tweezers, remove it from the case back, and place it in your parts tray to keep it from getting lost during the repairs. Then, move on to the next screw and continue removing them until all screws are in your parts tray and the back can be easily lifted off. Now you are ready to change the battery. For more information on how to change your watch battery, check out the links seen here for other articles. Once you have changed the battery and are ready to close the watch back, you just need to reverse what you did before. You may need to replace the watch gasket before continuing. For more information, click here. Place the case back on the watch case, aligning the holes in the back with the holes in the case. Then, grab one screw by the head with your non-magnetic tweezers and place it in one of the screw holes in the case back. Since these screws are generally small, it may take a couple tries to get it placed properly in the hole. Always be sure to use non-magnetic tweezers when working with small watch parts. They prevent unwanted electrical charges in the watch movement and they also prevent the screws from sticking to your tweezers. When the screw is in place, take your screwdriver and begin to thread it back into place, turning the screw clockwise. Continue tightening until the screw is mostly screwed in. Take the next screw and place it diagonally in the case back from the first screw you replaced. By placing the screws in this manner, you ensure that the back sits on the case perfectly. Tighten the second screw most of the way into place before moving on to the third screw. Place the last two screws in the remaining slots with your tweezers tightening them most of the way into place with your screwdriver. After you have placed the final screw, return to the first screw and finish tightening it into position. Do this for the rest of the screws, always moving on the diagonal. This will keep you from over tightening the screws and potentially damaging the watch case or the screws themselves. When you are finished, reset your watch and wear it with pride. To learn how to open other kinds of watch case backs, visit esslinger.com's learning center today.